all new at 10. Who's watching the inmates in Lincoln County? Fox 2 has learned about a jail employee with a felony record. That employee identified himself recently as a corrections officer lieutenant. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes sits down with the sheriff to get answers. This jail employee wearing the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office hoodie is a convicted felon. Listen to this inmate. After a February 2024 arrest, he appears to recognize the worker as someone he's seen in jail before. You a police? I'm CO, Lieutenant. I'm CO, Lieutenant. Wait, I know you've been to jail before. Oh, I've been to jail. You're crazy. The jail employee is Casey Thompson, who pleaded guilty in 2018 to felony drug possession. So how can he be a corrections officer here six years later? We asked Lincoln County Sheriff Rick Harrell, who said he's not. He's not a lieutenant or corrections officer. He's not. He, he's a heck of a good clerk. He also let us interview Thompson. Back you have access kid. to computer databases that have criminal history. No. Type. You have access to a master key to get into uh, cells that... No. Do you have access to law enforcement equipment? No. I do not have, the only law enforcement type equipment that is even housed over here is kept in here, and my key card will not open that door. Why did you say you were a Lieutenant CO? I think I just got scared in the moment. I hadn't been put in that position and I, I just spoke. Um, I didn't really think it through. The inmate who's being volatile at the time is less likely to punch a Lieutenant versus a clerk in the face. So. You know, it potentially could have been something where it was a defense mechanism. Sheriff Harrell says he warned him that he cannot misrepresent himself, but the sheriff believes this is a good news story. In Lincoln County, we want to, you know, walk the walk. We talk about the, one of the biggest barriers for felons to, to be a productive member of society is employment. So as a county, we have employed inmate workers for many years. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't work. And I think Casey Thompson is, is so far, he's one of those people that we can look to and say, that's what's possible. Which brings us to another question. Thompson's salary at $48,000 is 6,400 more than every corrections officer. The sheriff said that pay is based on multiple clerk duties in which Thompson is running at least three departments, kitchen, commissary, and procurement. Thompson told me he recognized places the jail could save money when he was serving a sentence. He said he told a captain then. I wonder if they'd ever give me a shot to come back and try to do this. I said, I think we could probably do it and do it better and save some money. And he said, you know, they might. I'm shopping four to five vendors for each one of those every week. We are shopping price, price, price to try to get the taxpayers the most bang for their buck. The sheriff said Thompson recently found 80K in savings in the kitchen alone which he says allowed recent pay raises for corrections officers from $13 an hour to 20 an hour. He was one of the people that did the work, that found the money and saved those dollars in order to get the salary to what it is today. Thompson says he's learned his lesson about how he identified himself that February day and that it will not happen again. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.